I have a lot of compassion for you, but Europe can't welcome you. We don't have the financial means. That's what Le Pen said to migrants, to refugees who were stranded off a rocky island of Tunisia. This is how she views the needs and aspirations of other people. There's people who have stranded, who, have to, who had to flee from persecution, from war, from a dire situation, and she just tells them off. She tells them to stay in other poor countries. This is clear chauvinism, this is clear racism. She just wants to guard her welfare for herself without looking what damages EU is also doing other countries without helping refugees, without helping those people in need. This is racism. This is something we should not accept and not let into the European Parliament. I would be greatly pleased if those who call themselves proud Hungarian Jews played in their leisure with their tiny circumcised dicks instead of besmirching me. Your kind of people are used to seeing all of our kind of people stand to attention and adjust to you every time you fart. Would you kindly acknowledge this is now over? We have raised our head up high and we shall no longer tolerate your kind of terror. We shall take back our country. These are the words of Christina Morvai from Hungary. The words are the disgusting words that peddle that old lie of conspiracy and power. And they have no place in a modern Europe. This modern Europe was built on the blood of thousands who died defending the rights of freedom and standing up against this theory of conspiracy and power. For those of us that believe in a modern Europe, a modern Europe built on peace, built on the values of unity in diversity. We have to reject this kind of rhetoric and all of the actions that come from it. We have to stand up and be counted. I'm well aware that the orthodox opinion is that six million Jews were gassed and cremated and turned into lampshades. Orthodox opinion also once held that the world is flat. I have reached the conclusion that the extermination tale is a mixture of allied wartime propaganda, extremely profitable lie and latter witch hysteria. Nick Griffin, who says this, has denies and trivializes the inconceivable crime of the Nazis. Even though the Holocaust is one of the most documented and researched processes of the past, there are still people like him who do not want to acknowledge this historical fact and strive to rewrite history with such statements. Time is running to counter these toxic voices in European politics. They attack as a group, control the markets, and the only reason why they do not rape their children and parents is that they are too busy raping ours. We are not interested in the gypsies. All of them should be sent to jail. There is no other solution. Prevent nasty people like him to join the European Parliament. In order to strengthen Frontex, one of the few EU agencies that make any sense, the so-called Agency for Fundamental Rights could, for example, be closed because its only job is to conduct left-wing snooping. Andreas Mölzer's only job is to conduct far-right-wing positions. Just recently, he was calling the EU a dictatorship that made the Third Reich look informal and liberal by comparison. In his extreme right-wing ideology, of course, the Agency for Fundamental Rights that has done such great reviews and studies, like against violence against women or against homophobia, certainly doesn't have a place. Many of Anders Bering Bjavik's ideas are good some very good even. He has been instrumentalized. The fact that his ideas have led to violence is due to immigrant invasion. This is completely incredible to say something like that because it's not true that migrants are responsible of the fact that people have no more work. In the same times, 
This means clearly that for these people, migrants are the new enemies. And it's not possible to build solidarity, cooperation with all the people all over the world if you tell that these people are our enemies. This is not the good way, it's the worst way, and that's why we have to fight against these ideas, and that's why you have to vote for Greens. These are all actual statements by parliamentarians of right-wing extremist parties, and I thank all the Green colleagues who uh, completely reject these statements, but still presented them to you, to show you that it's in your hands if those members are still elected to the European Parliament or if we will have real Democrats talking and discussing about the European future. It's up to you at the European elections to vote right-wing extremists out of the European Parliament.